hello folks uh, welcome back uh, this is rp again and uh, i would like to add one more tutorial to this series uh, which i felt was very important and that was doing the git pull versus the rebase or the git fetch and merge with the rebase so git pull is equivalent to git fetch plus merge and git rebase is defined as running the commits um, on the actual code base so usually git rebase is recommended if you want to have a, a history of the commits and git fetch and merge will basically merge the code directly into that uh, it sounds weird but uh, i would like to demo it for you guys so that you will actually see the difference and uh, uh, it's going to be good learning uh, do feel free to look at the other online resources uh, about this uh, important distinction because this is something that you will definitely encounter in your future as well so let's begin uh, so in our git repo uh, i have actually done a new commit from the outside that is i haven't done it through the code and the code change that i have done is i have added this line with the a2l characters and actually did a commit now this commit is not there on my local yet and uh, so first thing i'll do is i'll fetch this commit now fetching the commit just go to team remote fetch from and you just say from the you want to fetch from the master branch so you just say fetch and it looks like we have already got the commit that is why we see the down one arrow uh, i forgot to actually record it but i already fetched the commit now uh, if i do now let's say i have the same content in my local okay and i do a commit here maybe call this as uh, commit from local okay and i don't push this so i have already have a commit over here in my local with the same code change and i have a commit from the original git repo with the same code change so we cannot submit the code directly like this we have to basically you know merge and resolve this before we actually do the submit so the way we can do that is right click team merge and i would be merging with the origin master and as you can see there is a conflict with the merge and that is being requested to be resolved so this is basically how git will uh, show the conflict uh, this is coming from the remote i mean sorry this is coming from the remote and uh, this is coming from the local so uh, let's say we want to keep the stuff from the remote which is basically the same we just erase this and we would save this file now because it was in a conflicted state uh, the file has a red dot on it and uh, in order to actually do the commit to fix this we need to get rid of this red dot so we'll have to add the file to the index to get it into a staging situation and now what we can do is we can do a commit which will actually be a merge commit it will be done by itself and we would say commit uh, now this has been resolved and there are two commits uh, as you can see uh, there is another additional commit which is basically to resolve the merge conflict uh, this is what the git merge is and uh, you can see the git uh, commit from local where we had the conflict and there was this commit that was done to resolve this uh, now as you can see the branch structure has also changed a lot uh so we were at this situation when we started we did the commit from local 
and when we got that it was actually from the outside and that got merged back into this one so it looks kind of funny um, so let's just roll back and I will do the same work with the rebase and we will see the difference so if you want to reset it just go to the commit which you want to reset and say hard and you say yes now again let's add the content back and we will do our commit from local yes and do commit from local now let's do the rebase so team rebase and we will resolve the merge conflict now uh, so let's keep the one from the local this time and we will save this and we would say team add to the index because we have resolved the merge conflict continue with the rebase uh, what we'll do is we'll say team go into the staging view and we'll say continue because the changes are already introduced and there is no change we would just say rebase skip commit and that's it that would resolve the change the reason there is no change is because uh, the content is the same and that is why we could just skip the commit instead of actually you know adding an additional commit into the commit history so as you can see with just these commits it has become much cleaner and uh, we have the proper code so yeah that's how git commit and get rebase works um, with the difference with get fetch and match i uh, hope you guys uh, got at least a bit of an idea of this and uh, please do subscribe and like the video uh, for more content thank you